Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lisa and this is my beauty channel. Today we are going to be unpackaging, unbagging the October Ipsy bag. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it is a monthly subscription um, beauty bag and in it you get five travel size to luxury travel size products um, and in the beginning you take a survey you know tell them a little bit about yourself what you like to get what you don't like to get you know your your hair type your if you have dry skin oily skin combination skin it's really nice and they cater it more towards you unlike boxycharm where you where everyone gets the same thing every month this is ten dollars a month and I'm excited, so let's dig in. Okay, so I am going to slide it out of the bag. And it feels really lightweight this month. And, like, there's not much in there, so we'll see, I guess. Also, don't mind the hair. I came directly from work, and it's Monday, so mm, not looking too good. But you know what? We'll live. Okay, so it says... By the way, my cat's in here. Well, one of my cats. His name is Ghost, and he will probably be meowing. He's such a... He's so... prestigious. He likes to think he's royalty, so... Okay, anyways, the card says, Hey, boo, we've got some tricks and treats up our sleeve. And pretty much it just tells you to review it um, the theme this month is black magic it's a really cute card the only thing I dislike about Ipsy is that they don't give like the name of the product that you're getting and a description and you know the um, price of it like boxycharm does that's the only thing I dislike but they do come up with really cute bags and themes so that is really cute now the bag looks white but it's actually this is like a really pale pink and it's got all types of Halloween decor and the little zipper is a ghost which is fitting because your name's ghost ghost is that your name you don't want me on now okay anyways let's dig in so I'll try not to look. Okay, so the first thing I got is a Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Florence Fig. And here's the size of it. And I actually got a highlighter in last month's bag by this brand and I love it. It is gorgeous. It is pale girl friendly. And let's see. The sad thing is, is they don't give you like a ton. This one actually has more than the, the highlighter is sad. It's like that much highlighter, but this is the color. It's like a nice plummy mauve. Let's see if I can give a swatch at all. And it feels pretty moisturizing. It's not like the most pigmented, but it's not sheer either. It's not patchy, which is good. It's just not like wham bam, like right in your face, but it's not patchy and it is moisturizing. It feels like not drying at all, so that is good. Set that one aside. Okay, next up is okay, the Balm Hot Mama. What are you? Shadow and blush. Balm always has like such cute packaging, don't they? Ugh, so cute. And then here is the product inside. Let's see if I can swatch this. It looks like a really pretty coral color, which is my favorite kind of blush. Oh, that will be really pretty on the cheeks. I probably won't use this for the eyes, but it's going to be really hard to see. But I can tell that it will, let me try to see, it will go on like really nicely on the cheeks. I can tell that. And it's got little gold sparkles in there. It's right 
here. And it's just going to give like that hint of life, especially if you look tired in the morning. I think that's really nice. Okay, next up is the Pure Elise Daily Lip no Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. And I actually got this in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago and have not used that up and I got it full size so I'm going to pass this along. I'm not going to open it but it is a really nice um, moisturizer for the lips. It's really good if you put this on before liquid lipsticks. It'll help not dry out your lips so much especially if it is super drying. So that is good. I just don't see a point in keeping two of the same product. Okay. Next up is the, this is by, I always hope I'm saying this wrong, but Kiate London Fierce Flex in the shade, do you have a shade? Do we have a shade? I don't see a shade anywhere. London S E 2 E S. That cannot be it. That cannot be it. I really don't see a shade anywhere, but I'm really going to assume it's black, but it's super cute. It's got stars all over it. Black ugh, with silver stars. It's almost like they made it for the Ipsy bag. I don't see Ipsy anywhere on it. On it. I can't talk. Sorry, guys. It's been a long work day. Let me see if I can open this at all. I use my teeth for everything. You should not do that. My mother would be yelling at me right now. But come on, ain't nobody got time for this. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? <laughs> halfway off that'll work right all right so I'll do it right above the Ooh, that is black it's black we know that now so here is and that was really light it does have a fairly long like medium size I mean I've seen longer but I've also seen shorter it is pretty stiff except for the very top up here it kind of bends a little bit which might be nice to go along with your eye and not kind of skip as you're dragging it along but it is very black that was just one light swipe I could try to do it again that's light like that's too much so clearly you can do thin and thick so that is nice and the last thing is a brush and I love when I get brushes who else loves when they get brushes okay so it is Lottie London and here is the brush it is pink with black tip head I don't know and then pink bristles all the way up at top and this looks like a packer brush I think it's too soft to be able to do the under eye that well with it but you could try but this looks like it'll pack on eyeshadows on the lid very well so we'll test this out it does feel very soft and it's really cute pink and black I love getting brushes they are probably my favorite thing I just just keep giving me brushes come on because I really don't like paying for brushes even though I know that it's important to so Anyways, that is my Ipsy bag for the month. Let me know what you got. I'd be interested to see if we got the same thing. Have you tried out anything that you got so far and you liked it, hated it? What did you get differently than me? Are you liking this month's bag? All right. I can't wait to see your comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to go on this journey with me. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a wonderful week.